nothing to Ubuntu nothing. So it's a little little bit slow. You can use input modes. I prefer that but because it's very easy to use. It's a little bit slow because uh, Galaxy Tab doesn't have a dual core processor and has a uh, 5.12 megabytes of RAM, but it's quite nice. Get applications. There is everything here. You can open terminal. type you just long press the screen and the keyboard is up so let's get out of the terminal you can change desktop background As I said, it's a little bit slow, but it's quite nice. Let's say I want this one. Okay, close, and you have a new background. This is the way change your workspaces by here you have up to four but you can add many more you go to system preferences administration it's a fully working Linux environment as you can see so I encountered the problem when I wrote I typed the letter D on the keyboard this is very important you will all the windows when I typed the letter D were minimized so what you have to do you have to go to system preferences keyboard shortcuts and then you will have to find wait a second Where is it? That's it. You will have to find this one. Hide all normal windows and set focus to the desktop. And just change its shortcut. Its default shortcut is letter D. You have to... I disabled it, it's better I think. Okay, disable this one. Let's close. I've added the uh, system manager here. You can see the CPU load as well as here you can see the CPU speed. You can open Firefox if you want. Actually, someone said that there is no flash support on Ubuntu for ARM processors, but there is. I will go to YouTube to show you. YouTube dot Boom. 
Okay, we're in YouTube. Let's open a video. Don't expect nice uh, flash. It lags very much, but it's something. At least it plays. To have Flash, you have to go to the Adobe page and download Flash for Linux 32 system. Okay. And then you choose Flash for Ubuntu APT and install it. See, there's Flash. But it's very laggy. Okay. Let's get off Firefox. Also, you have Word processor. There it is. Very nice. Okay, to bring up keyboard, long press the center icon and you can write wherever you want. Let's close this. Without saving, of course. Also, you can log in to MSN. Just type in the terminal apt get AMSN. Let me show it to you. AMSN. There is also a torrent client on its own. You don't have to install anything to get a torrent client. But you have to install AMSN. Let's wait for it to open. Okay, it opened. I've put in my account. My account mail and password to log in. It doesn't have it doesn't uh, support webcam. That is bad. But it's okay. Let's wait for it to log in. You can also maximize the window. Here it says offline. Now it's online. You can see my friends here. Also, you can send them a message if you want. It's basically an MSN client. It's a little slow. Come on, open up. Let's minimize this. Okay, and here you can send everything, but don't press the webcam button because your tab will restart. It's a bug for not having drivers, certain drivers. 
Okay, you can minimize the tray. Here you can see the messages you get, your online status, date and time. Okay, to log out, just disconnect. And here, type exit. Yes. Ubuntu Nadi has been successfully unmounted and you're off. Okay, thanks for watching this. Bye bye.